Good morning. Now, normally I don't start my videos off like that. I start my videos normally like, um, hi, this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. But listen, this video is about my reaction to me restarting on semaglutide. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've reached a plateau in my journey that I know ain't nobody talking about because nobody brought it up in the comments. Ladies, what in the men, what the, what, what are we doing here? We were supposed to be like a unit. We're not a unit. We can't do this as a unit. So, okay, let me tell you what's been going on. So I told y'all in the last video that I was going to restart my semaglutide. Well, I did that. So when I started the semaglutide exactly two weeks ago, because tomorrow, which today is Thursday, tomorrow I take my third shot. Keep in mind, when I went back to the clinic, uh, Raven told me that I was 253 pounds. I then told her, I said, Raven, I said, that I, I think you need to raise my dose up. Now, keep in mind, I have always been between 24 and 30 units of semaglutide she jumped me up to 40 so this was my first ride with 40 milligrams of semaglutide now i had never researched what happens because nobody talks about it but keep in mind i know my body so certain things been going on that i want to talk to y'all about because when I tell you I wasn't prepared, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready. Yes, this is the Car Chronicles on what the hell is going on with me right now with this higher dose of this damn medicine, girl. Wait, hold on. Don't say anything to me about this damn cigarette either because, listen, I'm at work. They get ready to get on my nerve. I already know. So, uh, we're going to have a best day. But, let me tell you. Okay, so... The first shot that I took two weeks ago, I, my attitude, everything started coming back. I was regular. I could feel my shot working. I was not hungry. I was hungry, but I, was, I wasn't really hungry, but I still could eat. Okay, so I went back and I told Raven, I said, Raven, I said, I need you to take my dose up. That's when she took me to 36. Now, keep in mind, on the 36th, I was getting nauseous, but I wasn't getting as nauseous. I was getting, like, my attitude was evening out because you could tell in the videos that I did before this video, I was my attitude was changing. So, now, y'all got full-blown asshole Monica. It's okay, y'all. It's all right. But that's what y'all got. But wait till I tell y'all this next part. Okay. Me thinking that... Me thinking that the shot wasn't working, I forgot that it went up because I rubbed it in. I told y'all in the first video, massage that shot in, so move it around. So that's why I take mine in my stomach. If I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all, show y'all. I'm not in this video because I'm ashy, but no. But I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. So I took the second shot. My mood and stuff evened out. Now, keep in mind, I'm still working on the second shot. Because it was 36 milligrams, it's a lot in there. So, I've been wearing this sweatband thing to work, and I work 12-hour shifts So at a clinic. At the end of the day, I'm doing everything that I was supposed to do, but I had this band on. I was eating the fiber, I drank that drink, and all this other stuff. I hadn't been pooping. So, I got off of work. What day was that? I got off of work Sunday. I got off work Sunday, took my uniform off my right hand and got my, my husband could attest. I got upstairs and went to my room. I sat on the side of my bed. When I sat on the side of my bed, I got hot. My mouth got juicy. I was sweaty. I said, oh my God, I'm getting ready to throw up. I ran to the bathroom because we got a bathroom in our master bedroom. I ran to the bathroom and I threw up. I didn't just throw up, honey. I threw up for like, I know, a good 30 like 30 seconds i threw i just was throwing up everything everything i ate for the last two days i threw up when i threw up i felt so much better the reason why i threw up was because i hadn't pooped so when i threw up everything released this way everything released the other way so i immediately felt 115 times better 
But by me feeling better, I'm thinking to myself, okay, Monica, I get on the scale. No motherfucking lie. I get on the scale. When I get on the scale, I'm ringing in at 250. Then I rang in two days ago at 251, 250, 249. I rang in at 249, and this morning I rang in at 248.9. That motherfucking shot is on my ass, but that's not what I want to talk to y'all about. See, what they don't tell y'all about that shot, because I am 53, that shot is doing something to my hormones. When, I mean, I had believed her when she said that it was going to do something to my hormones, but I didn't like, listen, well now, because my body was so, was without the shot for like three months, this shot is like fresh in my system. I had the Manjaro first. I didn't have the Sumaglutide. I started off on Majaro, semaglutide, and Majaro, two different medicines, baby. Two totally different medicines. I start, I start feeling like, like, I don't know, ladies. I want to, I'm just going to tell you, girl. I got to tell y'all this. And since this is not going to be no long video because I got to go clock in. But let me tell y'all. For the last couple of days, and I just took my shot, my second shot last Friday. I take my third shot tomorrow. For the last couple of days, ladies, I have been feeling like a freaky bitch. Like, I want to do the nasty. Like, I want to... Girl, where that come from? I got to talk to Raven. I got, I'm going to talk to Raven's ass tomorrow. I got to talk to Raven. I'm going to tell Raven. Raven didn't say nothing about being doing the nasty. Girl, what? I'm ready to do some stuff. I'm, girl, who? My body feels so amazing. When I say it feels amazing, I'm moving around. I'm squatting. I'm underneath the bed. I'm pulling stuff from under the bed. I'm getting on the ground. I'm getting up, girl. Yes. I'm getting up. I'm moving. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing, like, lingerie. I'm wearing, like, real cute pajama sets. I'm doing that type of stuff. I'm putting cocoa butter on cocoa butter parts. I got to talk to Raven, girl. I'm ready to do the nasty. The hell? Where'd that come from? Nobody said nothing about that. And uh, that old myth about um, women and not being uh, Miss Wet Wet or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Listen, that's a lie. That's a lie, Jesus. That's a lie. Girl, what? That shot got me feeling like, mm, I didn't Howard around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? T-shirt panties on. Who the hell you talking to? Shit. I don't know what the fuck to do about this. I wasn't ready for this. This part, I wasn't ready for. So, yeah, we got to talk about being horny on semaglutide. Nobody said nothing about that. I don't know if it's because my weight went down. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, it's happening right now. It's happening because, child, listen, I'm dead smack in the middle of the shits. This shit is getting on my nerve. And these people get ready to get on my nerve. Lord, fix it. They get ready to Jesus. I mean, I come in the house like R. Kelly, like, I don't see nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Who? Girl, uh-uh. Go have us around there doing the nasty. I got a wedding to pay for. I got to talk to Miss Raven. Nobody said that in the comments. Ed Vision, Diane. Come on, ladies. Let's let's look this up. We got to look this up, everybody. This is a test, honey. National test. We got to help Monica. Honey, y'all nobody said that. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with being horny. Want to do the nasty all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. But damn, give me a warning sign. Give me something. A warning label. Nobody said nothing about that. But they ain't talking about that. So, nobody. yeah. I just think that I wanted to tell y'all this because I got to keep y'all. Girl, what? What? I got to keep y'all. Girl, be ready. <clears throat> nobody said that. Everybody all hush mouth about that. They didn't tell y'all that, did they? Yes, they want that shop make you want to do the nasty. Yeah, all the time. Like, what the fuck? I'm walking past mirrors like, mm, 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 mm. Woo! Girl, this is crazy. This is nuts. This is crazy. I'm feeling like, I'm telling y'all, I'm feeling like, because keep, keep in mind, I didn't have a shot for like four months since November. November, December, January, February, March. Wait, it was almost five months. So now this shot is brand new to my body, so it's doing stuff that I never knew. Manjaro didn't do this. Semaglutide is doing this. So at the end of the day, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? What the hell? Girl, I'm running around here like nipples. What? 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 
Girl, who? I feel like, I'm going to tell y'all, I grew up in the 90s. I grew up in the 90s where Salt and Pepper was here. You know what I'm saying? So we was walking around biker shorts and stuff like this. My my hormones is like feeling like I want to move around. I want to go. I want to, I want to, I want to. You know what I'm saying? No. Nobody said nothing about this girl. It's not in the handbook. It's not in the handbook. Nobody gave me a handbook on sexual activity. Every time my husband get getting ready to go down, I'm like, hey, what you doing? Nah. Girl, no. We got to do something. We got to talk about this. Me and Raven going to talk. This is a talk for me and Raven because Raven didn't say nothing about this. Raven didn't say nothing about feeling like Mr. Nest time all the time. Girl, what? Well, it's Freaky Friday every day. Fuck. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Good thing my husband ain't like, Shh. Because, no. Okay? But I just think I should have came and talked to y'all about this because, girl, we got to talk. I told y'all. I got to talk to somebody about this shit because I, what? I get on Jean's nerve talking to her about the shit. Fuck. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to go clock in because I'm probably late by now. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I don't care. And my, my damn Starbucks cup. I gotta wipe this shit off my uniform because ain't no dirty around here. I'm gonna go clock in. But yeah, this is a stage I wasn't ready for, baby. Listen, I've been putting on performances like Luther Vandross around this bitch. Okay? I've been honey who coming out these clothes. I'm at 249 flat. I did it this morning. Give me some motherfucking time. I'm going to be at 240. Yeah, let's see what Monica looking like at 240. I'm getting ready to be fucking shit up. It's going down, baby. Listen, take the shot. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here because these people is looking at me like, girl, why haven't you opened up this clinic? Because I don't feel like it. I feel like going home, taking all these clothes off, long titties at all. That's why. Anytime I went from 300, and I looked at it, 364 pounds is where I started from. I'm at 249 pounds right now. Right now, I'm 249 pounds. Bitch, it's on. It is motherfucking on. Who? I'm getting married. I'm, my, body is, my body is not perfect, and I, I don't care about that. I feel like a regular person. I feel sexy. I ain't felt sexy in a long motherfucking time. To the point where I don't even know how to walk. Like, I don't have a walk. Keep in mind, I was 364 pounds. I don't know how to walk. I don't have a walk. I've been walking like... I don't know how to walk. I don't know how to walk. I don't know what size clothes I wear. I don't got on the right size bra. I mean, it's shit going down. My body is feeling amazing. Don't get me wrong. I can see my chimichanga. Fuck what? Yes. At, I mean, think about that. I broke out of a whole... I lost a whole human being. My grandbaby, my 13-year-old my grandbaby is 89 pounds. I lost her and son. Yes. I, I, I'm I not ready for... I don't know if I'm prepared. I, I, I didn't get prepared for this. So my thing is I got to look into what's going on right now with this i gotta look into this because nobody's talking about this part nobody warned me about this raven didn't say shit raven knows everything i raven 10 out of 10 raven come on raven with the raven Eric. come on raven come on she emailed me yesterday something that she never do she emailed me yesterday a recipe that she want me to try out Raven is on my side. Raven is like my girl. Raven is that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Raven is her. Who? But, yeah. I think I'm going to end this video here. But I'm just got to let y'all know these things. I think I'm just going to spontaneously talk to y'all because this shit is crazy. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the shot tomorrow, but I'm nervous because... I never been on just only semaglutide because when I got off the Manjaro, I went straight to semaglutide because it was cheaper. But at the end of the day, my body never just had only semaglutide. So all these emotions and stuff that I'm feeling is coming from that shot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not sure how to handle this because I was prepared for Manjaro. I wasn't prepared for semaglutide. Yeah, it make you want to fuck some shit up. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm telling you, it makes you want to fuck some shit up. I don't know what the fuck. These people was looking at me like, girl, come open up this clinic, bitch. I am. 
<laughs> oh my god help jesus okay so yeah i got uh, uh my so we're gonna call this video a quickie this is a quickie i had to give y'all a quickie on this damn what the fuck is going on with this me and this damn shot girl what this is the adventures of monica and this damn shot girl what i'm looking at victoria's secret panties and shit what the hell normally i'm at walmart looking at the the true loves and all this other shit, bitch. I'm on, I'm on the site looking at goddamn Victoria's Secret underwear shit. Come on, Riri. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. But I had to tell y'all what the hell is going on because I ain't never been on this ride before, honey. What? Listen, y'all better be prepared because this shit is crazy. So I'm rolling these windows up because it's cold as fuck today. But, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, girl. And I'm just going to let y'all know, this shit is, girl, funny as shit like I've ever seen in my life. I be, I, listen, I'm going to tell y'all this, though. I be getting out the bed, like, this is, this is how, this is how much I know I got my life back. I be getting out the bed, like, I'll be laying flat. I'll pop up straight on my feet, and I'll just take off. And I'll run down the steps, run back up, run down the steps, run back up. And then I'm lifting, bitch, I'm back. Honey, listen, I, I feel so motherfucking amazing right now at this moment. I feel amazing. I feel amazing. I want to do the nasty. I want to be sexy. I ain't got no walk. I don't give a fuck. It's fucked up shit. I don't give a shit. But listen, like, comment, and subscribe. And I don't know. I'll see y'all in my next video, I guess. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video. I'm going to open up this clinic. Bye. <laughs>